it's guest cast time. And we're playing Life is Strange before the storm. And what are you... Okay, you're trying to get to your phone. Yeah. Hey, I'm at the picnic tables with my little kid. Cool. The picnic tables? I'm gonna look at the gun. The future needs excellence. There's no the, the there. An asshole. Yes, it is. More than you know. Alright. Uh, yeah. Am I... I think the picnic tables would be the other way. No, I know they are. That's cool. That's my objective. That's how I view my objective. That is actually pretty cool. Oh, what do I do? Oh, that, right, yeah. Cool. What happens if it smudges? Are you just stuck in the game not knowing your objective because it's smudged? Miss Grant. Does she want to speak to me? Morning, Miss Grant. Morning, dear. Are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. Hmm. <laughs> That's my I don't believe what you. What do you think Sam. of this hypothesis? That you'll be in your seat by the time chemistry class begins today. Uh Science I think it's a bit is all off. about discovery, Miss Grant. Guess you'll have to wait and see. <laughs> With all the change that's happening at Blackwell of late, I suppose I can appreciate your consistent wit, Chloe. What kind of change do you mean? Well, the Prescotts have made an extremely generous donation to the school, which is good, but instead of going to support more science and mathematics, it's all being dedicated to the arts. Oh, how you dare they? More oh, money shit. should be spent in the arts? It's not that exactly. I recently made the case that STEM programs should receive more support, but apparently our new donors disagree with me. Such is life, I suppose. Miss Grant actually seems sad. Do the art support STEM? I, I don't know what STEM is. Uh, science, technology, uh, engineering, math. Math, I think it might be maths. Mm. Oh, I'll have a look at it. But yeah, it's like the Grant. teaching thing. More art classes will keep all the smug, self-absorbed types out of your science classroom. Articulate, as always. Yeah, science, technology, engineering, and maths. Okay. Yeah. Do not walk on this stage. Walking on the stage. Steph and Mikey normally post up somewhere quiet in the courtyard. Cool. So not here. Secrets. Yeah, so yeah, stems that thing that like all the schools are trying to aim for now, like focusing in those four core subjects. Yeah. I think like Sweden and stuff add programming to it. So like even year ones and stuff have to do programming, which I think is pretty awesome. Samantha? Hey Chloe. Oh my hey, god, Samantha. she sounds innocent. Yeah. What are you reading? I don't Who's know how to read Virginia Wolf? I oh, am that last year in Mrs. Hoyda's English class. I didn't think you did homework. Not Normally anymore. I don't, but the play was actually good. What did you like about it? Stuff. Uh, the story is about how relationships only work if people are willing to lie to each other. I'm not sure if you're joking. Sorry, I'm a little slow sometimes. I'm a little bitchy sometimes, so it's cool. People always say that. But I think you're actually... Sorry, a Chloe. A person. No one says anything like that. I don't know what I'm actually talking about. All right, about. she's clearly on crap. I bet. All those high-achieving girls always were. Right. Who's back? <laughs> he just takes the, take the bite right off into the sunset. Yeah. What could go wrong? Oh my god, the one picnic table? Who would have thought that's where they'd be? Oh no, there's one over there. They still I seem... I Steph and Mikey are playing games on one of the tables. <laughs> are they playing a one-player game of Dungeons and Dragons? If I had known the Celestial <laughs> Avenger was bloodied, I would have totally given him my potion. It was a skill challenge. Potion wouldn't have worked. Skill challenge? It's part of the tabletop game we play. You wouldn't understand. 
You used to play. I used to play with I'm my strongly Max. feeling about this. It's been a long time, though. Cool. Why did you all play in Got pairs? One Blade Runner. Director's Cut coming right up. Sweet. Five bucks, right? Keep it. I'm just glad someone here appreciates the classics. You even asked for the director's cut, which took out the shitty voiceover and replaced it with a sweet dream sequence. Dream life over real life. That's my motto. Ooh. Right on. Hey, <laughs> I'm do not you know gonna look Rachel's at Rachel's a gamer? Rachel Amber? You're asking me? Didn't you two go out last night, or was it just like a friend thing? Opposed to what? I don't know what you heard, but Rachel and I barely know I think, each other. Because I think, remember, oh, sweet. I think Rachel is um, <laughs> Steph has a, crush. a lesbian. Cool. And uh, you should join her game. So I think yeah. the whole point of it is everyone thinks right they're now. together. Thanks, though. We're at the end of the campaign, so it'll only take like 20 minutes. What else have you got to do before class? I wish a campaign only took a few hours and you could join in for 20 minutes. What the hell? Actually, I don't. Game I love the wrong guys. Like, you're, you're sitting Here's on the... Here's a character sheet. You are an elf barbarian. So kind of like real life. <laughs> hmm. He's about to say that. Are you insulting me in some obscure nerd way? <laughs> Think about it. An elf? Like skinny and kind of weird, but also a barbarian, so like really angry. In other words, Chloe Price. Wow, you two are a riot. All right, let's get started. You were both famous heroes in the kingdom of Avernon, a once peaceful land now laid to waste by the bloodthirsty raiders of the Black Well. Alone, you have fought your way through the raider camps, seeking their warlord leader, Durgaron, the Unscarred. As you enter the final camp, bloodied and weary, you see your fellow hero approaching from the opposite direction. I raise my staff to you in greeting. It seems pretty early in the story to be 20 Wizard minutes left of the campaign. Circle, yeah. Foremost advisor to King Tiberius. I don't think they're D&D, &D &D and Ryan. Of That's pretty impressive. <laughs> Introduce your character. Y yeah, okay. Uh, I'm an elf barbarian named... Uh, Barb. Barb. Calamastia. Super into it. Not bad. But Fucking jealous. She made a better name than mine. Yeah. Elamon narrows his eyes at the elf in front of him and says, I am here to defeat Durgaron, the Unscar. In the name of King Tiberius, <laughs> I don't like sneezing. You think you are worthy to fight alongside me? According to my character sheet, you are full of bullshit. It says right here that I taught your precious King Tiberius everything he knows about fighting. So, Alamon, what makes you think you are worthy to fight alongside me? You gave her that elf barbarian. I did. <laughs> Elamon bows deeply. I've heard of you in the castle. King Tiberius owes you his life. It's an honor to fight alongside you. Damn straight. <laughs> you stand at a three-way crossing. To your what left, noble the speech. Training ground. Mm. To your right, their prison camp. Straight ahead, an enormous, ostentatious tent. All I can help but notice is those minis are too big for the squares. Yeah. Scarred. It Which is way do you go? Straight ahead, making right? me very upset. We're supposed to kill the dur dude. Der dude. frowns. The raiders could have some good loot at the training ground, and surely it is our duty to free all those prisoners. Mm, Your duty. choice, newbie. Where do you wish to go? Uh, what do you want to do? Leave the game. Guess it's time to free some peeps. Let's go to the prison camp. You behold a field of She's standing pretty iron into cages, it. Yeah. each imprisoning a human villager, calling out for you to free them. Only a small, elderly dragonkin is keeping watch. He notices you, and in terror, runs into one of the few empty cages and locks himself in. <laughs> ah, poor little guy. What's a dragonkin? Dragonkin the are like little dragon people. Yeah. They're assholes. I bet he has all the keys. 
Oh, okay. Hey, shit face! Get out of there! The dragonkin hops up and down, shaking his ring of keys at you. He shouts in a strange language. Whatever he's saying probably isn't flattering. Got any useful spells in that robe of yours? Nothing that wouldn't blow up the cage and everything in it. Mm, intimidate? I'd intimidate, but tempt with bread sounds funny. That's yeah. a skill I have. <laughs> can I do that? I want the little bastard to shit his pants. You can try. What do you say? Listen up, you little lizard. Unfortunately, he doesn't speak common, which means he can't- I cast communication on the dragonkin. Shit. Really? Oh my now god. he can understand every word you say. Time to work some real magic. So this You're is a stupid called a skill con. challenge, where you try to use- Oh, I know what this is. I grab the bars of the cage and lean in, nice and close. He steps back, his scaly skin quivering in fear. What do you say? Dragons are pussies. <laughs> Meat puppet? I wiggle my hand. Hey, dragonkin guy. Want to become my meat puppet? How it works is I shove my arm up your ass into your head, and then I can control your mouth from the inside to say things. Uh, he doesn't seem to like that idea. And neither neither do, I. do I. Neither do I. with you. Please don't harm me, tall one. But I cannot give you key. Durgaron, much taller and meaner than you. You're short, I say. But you can always get shorter. Give me the key, or I'll chop off your legs and beat you to death with them. The no. dragon can cowers before you, looking left and right. He opens his jaws, and you think he's about to yell for help. I interrupt his yell by shoving my axe into the cage, pinning his head to the bars without hurting him. Then I say the following. This is going to be good. Here's what's up. I'm going to carve the skin from your bones. Then I'm going to turn your skin into a little leather handbag that I'll shove your skinless body into so I can carry it around with me wherever I go. That way, the next time some asshat refuses to give me a key I want, I can pull your body out and show them what happens. How does that sound? Uh, Is it wow. weird that I'm turned on yeah. right now? Was nuts. I'm going to give issues. you a plus 10 bonus to charisma. Go ahead and roll. A small pool of urine collects <laughs> under the elderly dragonkin as, hands trembling, it hands you the keys. Then, it dies of fear. Awesome. <laughs> yeah! Go team! Why don't you start unlocking the prisoners? I feel sorry for him. He got scared to death. Yeah. As you free them, Aww. the prisoners run away from you in fear. What's next? Training? Yeah. Loot sounds good. Let's go to the training ground. Woohoo! Sweet. Upon arriving like at the training ground, you are spotted by a heavy set orc who immediately heavy shouts and points. Are there they not all dozen raiders on the yeah. training Yeah, like, are we describing this in like a. Because she doesn't okay. know what an orc is, so we say heavy set so to kind of give the image, or like, Urgle is this a particularly blessed. fat orc um, of the orcs? Overkill? Bam! You conjure up a wave of acid that washes over the charging orcs. Every raider suddenly starts screaming and writhing in pain. Yeah. There's a sweet and sour kind of smell mm, as the flesh sweet and sour melts orc. off their bones like My warm favorite. candle wax. Ah. Holy shit. Go get it from the Chinese place yeah. tomorrow night. I haven't really needed a partner. And do you the have sweet and sour orc? orc? Sergeant still remains. I think I could say that and they'd think I'm trying to say sweet pork. and sour pork yeah. and they would give me something. <laughs> oh, I want to try it so badly now. Okay, cleave. let's end this. Fatal cleave. cleave. You swing your great axe downward with both You're not hands, saying what your dice roll was, woman. Yeah. Then splits open like a hot dog bun. Fuck yeah! I'm awesome at this game. It's going well. What about the loot? <laughs> well, as the training as ground always. is now a roiling pit of acid, it's unlikely any loot survived. Dang. Oh, uh, no. You will pick Don't this. worry, Alamon guy. Alamon <laughs> guy. Alamon. Nods. Calamastia, the elf barbarian, is most wise. 
and forgiving. What's next? Banging. I think what's it's next is you enter the tent Sorry. to find the right. warlord of the raiders of the Black Well, it's been 15 minutes. sitting comfortably at his throne. He's a huge red-eyed minotaur, Jesus. swathed in a fine black cloak, gripping a two-handed sword that's easily six feet long. His laughter bellows. Wah, ha, 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 ha. Your lands and people are already mine. Your deeds here mean nothing. Your kingdom was weak. You are weak. What an asshole. I got this. I cast Zael's cataclysmic cone of fire. The fire fizzles out on contact. Durgeron laughs again, holding up his right arm to show off his bracer of fire immunity. Shit. All of my battle spells are fire-based. What about that, that acid one? You know, <laughs> acid blast, which someone used uh, uh. unnecessarily to show off for Chloe. Calamastia? What'll it be? Oh. Brutal punch. Annihilation. <laughs> I love all those names. Oh, holy shit! Uh, annihilation strike. That sounds boss as fuck. And that's what one? we want. That's bad, right? Not for me. <laughs> as you take your first step, you trip on a rock, collapsing onto the ground in a clangy jumble of metal. Your axe swings wildly to the side. Mikey, roll a reflex save. Oh no. Three. Your axe strikes Elamon's leg. Ow. Um, legs, plural, severing both feet at the ankles. This game is awesome. I am so sorry. Durgeron moves toward the crippled Elmon. Oh, shit. I told you this was my best boss. You didn't tell me my character might die. Durgeron approaches, stomping oh, no. his bloody hooves. Stomp, stomp, stomp. This is all my fault. Sort of. <laughs> what should I do? Either I'll dance. Do, 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 do. Mm. do something. I jump in front of Elamon. Wow. Thanks, Chloe. It's Calastia or whatever I mean, it was to you. Thanks, Calamastia. There you close. go. Okay. Durgeron has now turned his attention toward you. Bring it. He charges, thrusting madly with his great sword. Hell yeah. Shit! Oh no. Your attempt to dodge his thrust fails. Durgeron laughs as he impales you on his blade, lifting you high into the air. Seriously? I can't do anything with that stupid bracer. I'm sorry, Chloe. Hey, I chopped your feet off. Where are you? <laughs> you feel your strength draining away as Durgeron lifts you higher into the air. It hurts like hell. What do you do? Hmm. Hit the head. I take one last swing at Durg. Dur Durface's head. <laughs> you have to roll high to hit. You're almost dead. Oh no. Hmm. Eleven. You swing catching Durgeron on the side of his head, severing one horn, but you don't do enough damage to kill him. What an asshole! He laughs, laughs then rips you off his sword with a vicious jerk. You die painfully. So mean. She is I'm a so brutal cool. DM. Yeah. I have to escape. Hey man, if you can, do it. I cast Warden's Hideaway. You sure? It's all I've got. You summon and a all those fire door, spells. Which shields yeah. you from Durgeron. Light flares out, blinding him. The door swings shut, then disappears. You are gone from sight and cannot be harmed. I guess I'll have to come back when I'm stronger. And have feet. And oh, have feet. <laughs> Check out what I drew. <laughs> He's just like dragging He's got himself. serious drawing skills. No, he does not. I mean, for how quickly he drew it, that's actually pretty good. Sorry I died and left you out there to fend for yourself. It's cool. I'll get him. Eventually. Glad you enjoyed it, Chloe. Yeah. I'll adventure with you anytime. Who we'll the better? Thanks for the game, nerds. 
What? Uh. All right. DVD check. So we'll Next pick stop, this up. Chemistry class. Next time. Joy. This was the uh, Dungeons and Dragons adventure of uh, Life is Strange. Uh, subscribe. Do all those things. Catch ya.